Who doesn't love a high performing website? You want it to be fast, you want it to do well, you want it to load up and you don't want to give users a reason to click away on your website. Have you heard of the Serify Night Accelerator? This is a new plugin that's come out and I heard about it last week and I know it's been mentioned on Elemental Community Facebook groups and a lot of people are saying, is it really true? Is this really accelerating your website in terms of performance or the claims it makes about your mobile and your desktop? By the way, don't look at that 94 and 99 going, oh, that's too low. I want it to be 100%. Trust me, we will get there. So I wanted to test this out and just see how does it work. Now, a few things I want to mention. I am not affiliated to them. I'm making no money off this. I'm doing this because I care about a lot of you. And I wanted to check, is it true what it says? So let's have a look right now. <laughs> So Serify Night Accelerator, and there will be a link. It's not an affiliate link, by the way. It's just a link to their website, so you can go and download it. It is free for you to install and get high-speed scores. There is a caveat, though. If you do the free version, you will get this like little banner at the bottom of your page in desktop, tablet, and mobile, which is a white banner, which I don't like if you have a certain look for your website. And then you can go for the premium version. I'll go over the pricing later, and you can make your own decision. When you install it, it claims to increase the speed of your website. People out there that will say, well, this is just another Nitro Pack. I am not a fan of Nitro Pack. If you like Nitro Pack and it works for you, good. I don't, and I have my reasons for not liking it, and I'm not gonna go into that because it creates a political storm. I normally use Autoptimize for page speed scores, and I love it, and it works for me, and I'm regularly hitting over 96% for my mobile page speed scores, sometimes 98 or 100%. But Serifinite, is very closely becoming probably my new favorite plugin to use. Right, when you go to the website, you would go over and you would say add to cart, sorry, download for free, and you download it and install it on your website. Do -do 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 -do. Job done. What you then need to do is just go through a few settings. When you go to Accelerator, you're gonna to come to a page and it will say to you, go get the latest version, which might be download from the website like I told you to and install that instead or overwrite it, it's up to you. And then there will be an option for you to go through the setup wizard. The setup wizard just goes through really quickly. You don't have to change anything, just hit next. It will then say, can it just do a check of your databases? Yep, allow it to do that, it takes about a minute. You'll get a green tick for everything. So it's basically saying your backend system is okay. And that's it, all right, it just takes like a couple of minutes to go through. What you really wanna be doing though is down here it says revalidate. Make sure you click that after you have done any changes, just so that it can go through the motions. Now, if you go to settings, again, we're still an accelerator, you will have these options over here. Here's the startup wizard again, if you accidentally hit the X and it disappears off the front end screen, you can resume it from here as well, okay? Now, what you do is you just wanna go through here. Now, for the simple, there isn't anything you need to change. Unless you've got a premium version, you put your license key in. On the cache, I did not change anything. I left it as it was, believe it or not. That was it, nothing to change. On scripts and styles, I again did not change anything. I was tempted to go into the minify um, and then go, right, um, you know, are you going to enable certain things or exclude certain things or like over here? So if you wanna go through any settings, you can do. I didn't actually have to do that because my website is just using Elementor, Elementor Pro. Uh, it's got WooCommerce on there as well. It's an actual web page for a test website. Okay, so it's got loads of stuff going on in there. Uh, on the content, I did not change anything here either. You got a lazy load. I didn't change anything. I didn't even do like Google fonts, removing them, nothing, which really surprised me. Seed in an advance, I did not change anything here again. So if I just go back to scripts and stars, I'll pick the minify one, okay? You might go, well, what does that mean? There's all these settings in here. Enable, remove copyright information. If you click that, it does take you to a document page and it will start to explain that. Um, I would say you kind of really need to know what you're doing here before you start to mess things around. But if you do click a setting and then suddenly your website doesn't look right, you can come back to review it over here. Now let's get on to is it worth having? Is it any good? Now, Autoptimize on one of our test websites, which is this one over here. Ignore this menu, right? It's a test website, but it's got it's got search bar, it's got navigation, social sharing icons, hero banner, buttons, icons, whatever, uh, contact form down here as well. There's stuff going on in the website, okay? It is not just a blank page. Now, 
Why am I stressing on that? A lot of test videos out there, WP Rocket, uh, Nitro Pack, or Top to My, loads of videos out there when people are testing page speed. They're only ever testing on like a header, a text box, maybe an image. In fact, some of them don't even put the image on. They just want to have a couple of, like a text box. And they go, oh, 99%, oh, 60%. How can you get 60% when you only have a text box? They must have a really ridiculous bad theme or template going on there. But they have blank pages. And like there's a theme out there that someone contacted me and said, hey, could you do a review? It is super fast. I went, not really, no. The minute you add Elementor, your score drops to 80%. Yeah, yeah, but do it on a blank page. No. Why do you want me to test your tool on a blank page? That's not real life, okay? So a lot of these tests that you see on or YouTube and places, it's a really scrappy nothing page. I did test Serif Finite on a nothing page, okay? So it just had header, text, an image, and that was it. And here's what the score was. Look at that, on the mobile, it was 100%. Look, header, text, image. And you can see the Serif Finite Accelerator banner I was talking about that appears at the bottom if you have the free version but 100%, look at this score. One second, one second, 1.1 1 .1 second, one second, zero, zero. That is ridiculously good. And unlike Nitro Pack, and again, I am not against Nitro Pack and other plugins, and I said I wouldn't go into it, but I'll mention it. When you test them, you do not see your web page here. You will see something else because it's almost, in my opinion, tricking the system in what it does. I cannot see that happening here with this plugin but it's hitting 100%. And you're now gonna say to me, well, of course, because you've just got a blank rubbish page in. No one's website looks like that. Maybe yours does, but not mine normally. But what happens when you put in a web page like this and it's got stuff going on it? And yes, this has not got a slider. Yes, it has not got a video playing. Yes, it has not got testimonials and accordions and whatever. But generally for a home page, it has got stuff going on. It is not that, okay? So what's the score like then? And again, remember, this is with Serif Finite. In fact, I'll tell you now. If I build that page and I have no optimization plugin on, the page score will go down to about 79%. And people who say, yeah, it's because Elementor. Actually, you'll get that score with whatever page builder you get, okay? Maybe worse, maybe a little bit better. When I use Autoptimize with the settings I like to use, I can get up to 95%, 96. Sometimes it will hit 98, depending on the server. But on average, if I ran it five times, it averages about 95%. What do I now get with Serif Finite? Here it is, look, there's my mobile page, okay? Right at the bottom, I am still gonna have that logo. In fact, I'll show you what that logo looks like so you understand it a bit better. Here you go, it's down here. Can you see that? So this is what you'd have, which, it's a little bit annoying, you know, what if you've got a black footer and then you've got this bit of white banner appears at the bottom. Not good, but that's life. Anyway, back to this. The page is coming out how it should do. This is a test website, so don't sit there going, well, that is ugly. This is a test website with stuff going on. 100%. 1.3, 1 1.7, 1 1.3, 1 1.3, 0, 0. I ran this seven times. Not once did it drop below 100%. And I'm going, I'm staring at it going, what? How? This is, this is impossible. It keeps loading up the image. The score went, sometimes it did go down to 1.1, 1.2. This is just the latest screenshot I'm showing you now. I even tested this on webpest, webpagetest, webpagetest.org, right? And I said, em, um, emulate a, um, a mobile based in London, my closest server. And when it generates, it then allows me to view a video. So I can now see from the point of when you access the page, what loads in what order. And everything in this website loaded within 0.6 seconds. 0.6 seconds sounds like a lot, but when you watch the video, there was no preloaded bit coming in. There was no fake screen to trick the system. It loaded in exactly how it would normally load if I did not have any plugin. The difference was it was quick. I cannot fathom out exactly how they've done this, but Serifina Accelerator 
is doing exactly that. Um, I just want to stress out very what the costs are. So I'm going to put this into dollars so it just makes a bit more sense to everyone. So it's 346 per month. Sorry, it's 692 per month. If you pay for the year, 346. If you pay for three years, it's 318. Not a big difference between the year and the three year. I would have I would have liked to have gone down to like one and a half dollars a month or something. But six dollars ninety two or, you know, um, you know, look, you can see the cost. We'll leave it on year for now. That is for one site. If, however, you've got loads of clients and you can see this really working for them, you could charge your clients. You could get twenty five sites for forty three dollars per month. Now, when it says $43 per month, that's obviously going to be 430, 530, about $530 after you add in your tax roughly a year, which is quite a bit of money. However, if the per month charge uh, for one site is $67, that's about 84, 83 and a bit dollars per year. If you charge your clients $83 per year, but you've got the 25 site bargain, well, and it costs you 500, you just have to use this on five sites and you've made back your money, but you've still got 20 more sites to make an even bigger profit. But that's up to you in terms of how you do your licensing. And that's not what I'm here for. The reason I'm here, I don't even know why I'm here actually. I just live, I just, it's my life. But Serifine Ad Accelerator just blew out the competition, in my opinion. And when the costings for that, you could say, yeah, but there's WP Rocket, there's other stuff as well. I didn't have to really do much settings. I think, I think this is super good. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you soon.